Hey guys, what's up? Life Bill Joe here. Today we're going to discuss very briefly Season 2 of Riverdale. I'm a little late to the party, but I make sure to binge watch it once it's all done. So Season 1 premiered two years ago on The CW. I therefore binge watched it last year on Netflix. Season 2 premiered last year on The CW. I therefore binge watched it within the last couple of weeks via Netflix. It's a binge watchy show, you know, it's it's sleek, it's it's modern yet retro, it's whimsical yet terrifying, it's horror yet comedy, it's mystery yet blatancy. It's <clears throat> it's pretty awesome. Excuse me, I still have a cough going on. What I noticed though with um the mystery aspect of it, the the character development of it, is that it is extremely similar to 13 Reasons Why. It's extremely similar to Teen Wolf. They're all the teenage drama shows, right? And they all intermingle in that sense of exactly what I just explained. It's it's pretty cool seeing that. You know, you can easily compare Teen Wolf's Lydia to Riverdale's Cheryl. Both extremely badass, powerful redheads with red lipstick, right? Who knows some form of self-defense. Cheryl can do bow and arrow. Lydia is a banshee, and she also knows some forms of martial arts. They both get sent to a mental ward, right? Eichenhaus is where Lydia goes. Sisterhood of something. Sisters of Mercy, I think, right? Um, uh, right? That's That's where Cheryl goes. But like the, the Jughead Archie dynamic and the styles, um, oh my god, Scott, I, I, dynamic, I completely forgot Tyler Posey's character's name, that's embarrassing, because I met him once and he's awesome. Um, my brain is mush, absolute mush currently. It's been a long day, long week. What was the point? What was the point of, of, of our discussion? Is it's exactly what I said before. It's it's so close to Thirteen Reasons Why. It's so close to Team Wolf in the sense that all three shows are different, but they all have the same oomph to it. And each show ends on a cliffhanger, an appropriate cliffhanger, right? Each season ends with an appropriate cliffhanger, not a stupid cliffhanger. So season two, we just have ended, right? And Archie's arrested for the murder of Cassidy, who's that hillbilly guy who, you know, threatened them at the, the cabin, who um, Andre actually killed. But Hiram Lodge is a complete douchebag, and we'll see what happens in season three, right? That's an appropriate cliffhanger. The cliffhanger of season one. Fred Andrews got shot in it Pop's chocolate shop, right? At the diner. And yet, that was a giant pref uh, plot point throughout... All of season two, with the the black hood being one person, you know, another person, you know, another person. It's cool. It's sleek. It's intriguing. Very well done. Greg Berlanti is a genius amongst us mere mortals, right? A god amongst us mere mortals. His uh, his 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 view on storytelling is great. You know, he's the director of Love Simon, so of course I'm going to praise him up and down, and he is. One of the main producer for, I was going to say Archie, <laughs> the main producer for Riverdale, based off the Archie comics. I approve season two, Riverdale, on the CW. Binge it on Netflix. Awesome. Mucho mahalo, guys.